<clears throat> hey guys, I have been currently working on a bunch of stuff for my server since E3 has announced servers for Xbox. So, one thing that I have been doing is that I have been trying to get this ride completely ready for the servers because there's a lot of things wrong with this ride that I need to fix and a ton of other rides. And I'm also trying to make it easier to navigate around my parks and by doing so what I've been doing is that I've been putting signs around right here such as this and I've also been working on a completely new area Universal yes it has been announced Simba's making a Universal Land yes I am not Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure I'm basically making a cluster of all of them so you can I'll give you a little sneak peek of it. There's the Hulk right over there. That's the Hulk. I'm going to do a cool cinematic POV of it. Hold on, let's show it that day. There you go. There's the Hulk. So don't worry. I'm going to be doing an awesome POV of that. And then we also have a ton of stuff done with Forbidden Journey. We have a lot done, as you can see back here. And we got a lot of the line done. And then the back over here. And then this is where the ride would start. I'm still working on the line. I just wanted to start working on the ride because it's been taking forever just to get to the ride itself. So I just decided to start. So then we also have that coming to Universal Land, which is behind the Magic Kingdom Castle. And then, of course, all of my shops now work. You can actually, what you would do is that whenever you get off the ride, I'm not going to ride the Hulk, no, I'm not riding the Hulk. The Hulk is rideable, it's completely done, I just need to, actually, let's ride my Mission Breakout. I need to see if it works, because I've been trying to get it ready for servers now. Everything for servers, I'm trying to get everything prepared. Everything in a working order. So over here, blah, 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 blah. okay. So now we click this button here. All right. Because there's been a lot of minecarts on the track. I don't know if people are getting out of their minecarts while they're riding this, which is pretty stupid. You're not supposed to get out of your minecart when you're riding it. Just stay in your minecart at all times when you're riding these rides because you get out and the minecart gets stuck in the ride and I have to go in there and find it by writing the whole thing. Because I can't just destroy it because there's a bunch of redstone all throughout the ride. And then everything also gives you an emerald. All of my rides, they give you all an emerald. So you're gonna get an emerald each time you ride a different ride. See, you just got an emerald. Or I just got an emerald, I should say. And that happens and that goes up. Perfect, and then exit, okay. And then I also um, put a little window so you can see all the redstone inside of it. And another window over here. That thing's still going off. It's resetting. But yes, that's what I have gotten done. Buzz Lightyear is also completely new, as you saw in the other video. We got Space Mountain. And then over here, Haunted Mansion is completely done as well. I got the Haunted Mansion done. So this thing is rideable. I'm going to be doing a POV of this as well. That's going to be cool. Basically, everything here is now completely rideable, which is perfect. And I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm not in the best location to record. But yes. That's pretty much all I have so far, and the reason why you get an emerald for my rides, I forgot to explain this, all of my shops, you can now buy stuff from them. So, if you want a tunic, like right over here, you want a hat, there will be signs up on what you would get. So if you like walk into the shop, you can come over here, and then you just place it, oh, hold on, you would just try to place it in there, and then you get it, just like that and you can put it on your head. 
and that works for all my stuff. You can buy fireworks, you can get a park map, which park maps are actually free. I recommend you getting a park map. And then enchantment bottles. I made this free. I thought it would be pretty cool to just make it free. Yeah, see, now you got three of them. So then you can throw them at people and stuff. Or you can throw them at yourself, either way. And then I made a book. I don't know why. I thought it would be pretty cool to have that as well. And then we come over here to the Universal Land. You can also buy stuff from the Marvel shops here. Everything you can buy. <laughs> you can just place the emerald there. Yes. And then hold on, let me come over here. That's not on. That's strange. Let me pick block it. Alright, I pick blocked it. I don't know why it goes away. For some reason that thing goes away. But yes. Next video will probably be the cinematic POV of the Hulk. So stay tuned for that because the Hulk is completely done. And then we also have another cinematic for the Haunted Mansion, which is going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that as well. And then when servers come out, this whole place will be open for all of you guys. It'll be open. I'm trying to get it into... I'm trying to completely open up everything because right now I've had to delete stuff a ton of stuff um one of the things that I had to delete so over here I had to blow up bush gardens yes bush gardens is blown up but it's been replaced by basically universal land which is better in my opinion I seem to blow up that right there that that right still needs to be blown up as well so that's all I have so far. I might need to blow up that one too. Most of this stuff is blown up pretty good. There's still TNT everywhere. I need to still blow stuff up. And then I also have to redo the monorail station here. Or the monorail tracks I should say. And I think it would be really cool to have the Hogwarts Express right here and it take you to the castle. I don't know about you guys. Mm, actually, I know what. I'm going to probably build Hogsmeade here. Because this is enough room for Hogsmeade, that's for sure. I might not... Will I have space for Dragon Challenge right over here? Hold on, let's go up. I don't think I'll have enough space for Dragon Challenge. Unless I just build one other coaster at Dragon Challenge, but that would be stupid and pointless. Huh. Okay, so I might not build Dragon Challenge. That's that's probably not going to happen. Unless I switch it up and build it over here. I could definitely fit it over here. I don't know. I'll try to figure out some things. I'll try to get everything up. Uh, laid out so then I can um, start uh, working on it and then of course these signs are going to help you uh, locate all my rides and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video and I'll see you guys in the next one one other thing I forgot one other thing I changed up the concrete it's now red and black I hope you like it I hope you like it. Well, it was brown before. It was brown wool. Hold on. Where's brown wool? There's brown wool. It was this color before. This whole thing was replaced by the red. Imagine brown wool. Now imagine the red. Better, right? Yes. I like the red better. And this was also, I believe, I can't remember what this black was. I don't know. I just know that it's more better. It's more inviting. Yeah, that's a good word for it. So yes, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, I still got my creeper face on. I don't like that. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.